Imagine standing at the bottom of a mountain, snow-capped Himalayan tops. The sun is rising, and you're at the bottom, and you're looking up at these majestic mountains piercing the sky, taking each breath, inhaling and exhaling, and making a step closer and closer to the summit, looking at the challenge that lies ahead. Now, for anyone who climbs a mountain, they know it's not easy, and they know the challenges that are going to take place. Now, when you think of a mountaineer, or when you think of your typical mountaineer, who do you imagine? Yep, that's me. I don't look like your typical mountaineer. And one may wonder, where did this journey begin? Now, let's take it back to once a girl who was lost, who was trying to find a way, identity, where do you belong? Going through childhood trauma, grief and loss, to then a young adult facing divorce. Trying to find a way, trying to find a path. And that's what led me to the mountains. Usually when someone is healing from a divorce, or a woman, you know, they go for a haircut or a spa. But for me, it was to go climb a mountain. And that mountain changed my life. It allowed me to heal, and it allowed me to connect to my faith and my identity on a deeper level. Now the story of my self-discovery of, of how I started the niqab, wearing the niqab. That has been a journey in itself. I started wearing the niqab three years ago. And I believe that it is when I started wearing the niqab that I truly found a sense of comfort and belonging with my identity and my faith. The niqab is not a symbol of oppression. The niqab does not limit me, does not limit me or my abilities. The niqab has allowed me to go further in all the places around the world where I need to be. 2022, I went on an expedition climbing one of the highest mountains, for the 14 peaks in Nepal. It was a challenge. There was no one that looked like me. I was in a space where no one was wearing the niqab, but I took on this challenge. And climbing the mountain for me made me understand the strength and resilience that I have within me. It allowed me for personal growth, and this journey that I went through made me realize that there are so many barriers that Muslim women face. There are so many misconceptions that are placed on Muslim women. There are so many stigmas that are attached to Muslim women. And through this platform that I had of climbing mountains, it allowed me to open up a space for Muslim women to, to show the world that we are not oppressed, that we have a space and we can follow our dreams and ambitions. After this, I created a group called the Wonderless Women, which is to create a space for Muslim women to heal and feel empowered in the mountains. When we climb mountains, it's not just a physical feat. We have to go through mental, we have to go through the mental challenges that it brings upon us. Each step that we take, each breath that we take, each moment that we are climbing, it is a metaphor for the mountains that we scale in our own life going through all the obstacles and challenges that we face. So using this platform to create a space to show the world that we're not oppressed and that we can do anything and achieve all heights, literally and metaphorically. It's summit day and the snow is crunching beneath my boots and I'm getting closer and closer. And as I move further and further to the summit, the mountains get bigger and bigger the altitude is getting higher, so my breath becomes more difficult. And I'm taking each step and each breath slowly. And I look up and I see the sun rising. And there is a warm glow upon the peaks of the mountains. And I'm just in awe and I'm so grateful to be here. Someone once told me that you can't climb mountains. How will you climb mountains with that on your face? Are you going to do that with that thing on? And all the other comments that come. 
And I stood there on summit day, and I remember this clearly. And I looked deep down, and I realized I had become the first Muslim British woman that wears a niqab to summit mountains globally. Now, this is to show that if we, if we want to achieve something, we just have to look deep within, and we can conquer any mountain that comes in our way. I've always been intrigued by the word belonging or identity, and the questions that come, to, come through, like, where are you from? No, but where are you really from? No, but you know, go back to your country. And all of the comments that a lot of underrepresented women like myself have to deal with. And it's through this that when I have traveled the world, I have met diverse cultures and I met people with their preconceived notions of what they think of Muslim women, of what they think of, of Muslim women that wear the hijab or the niqab, and have used this as fuel to ignite for change and to use this as an opportunity to challenge all the stigmas and misconceptions that have been placed. And through this, I have allowed other women to find a sense of belonging, that we do belong and we do have a place here. Conquering mountains is not just a physical feat. It's a mental challenge. And it's a mental challenge that you can take upon your own life as well. I have learned that climbing the mountain or climbing mountains, you need to have determination, resilience, hard work and patience. And this has allowed me to have this has allowed me to do the same when it comes to breaking down barriers and misconceptions for Muslim women. As we go through the journey of life, let the mountains be a metaphor of how we can go through all the obstacles that come in our way. I am Amira the Wanderlust, and through my journey of self-discovery and healing, I have learned that true belonging lies within myself, and that more than often you may find me on a mountain somewhere, climbing somewhere in the world. Thank you. <laughs>